Hello and welcome again to 21st Century Music, where we help you to make better music. In today's video, we return to the hugely popular and amazing low-cost Yamaha keyboard, the YPT-230, or as is known by another number, PSRE-233. In the last video, we were mostly concentrating on the Motif songs, the AWM songs that were available in this amazing keyboard. And uh, we played some samples of the songs and we, ne we never really expected it to be so hugely popular on YouTube. Today we are focusing more on the features that are provided for non-musicians. And uh, being a musician myself, I was quite amazed at the tones but for non-musicians, the uh, keyboard offers several options where it virtually plays itself. In addition to containing several demo uh, songs, it also has three other features that you should really consider. It has the classic Yamaha ABC or Auto Bass Chord System which means that it will automatically add the correct bass note once you form a chord in the lower portion of the keyboard. And in addition to that, it has built-in rhythms that go along with that. So with the rhythms and the bass going, you can virtually have your song playing with very little effort, which will make a non-musician song like a pro. And naturally, that uh, feature is well loved by the public. Now, as if that was not enough, for those persons that don't even know the chords, it has a chord dictionary where you can look up the patterns of how to put your fingers to hold the chords. Now, in addition to that, my friend, it also offers a listen and learn mode where you can set the speed and learn some songs gradually at your speed and gradually pick up speed till you're playing them like a pro. So uh, that's a good feature. Now in the lesson mode, I'm going to zoom down here on the knob so you can see it a little better. Notice the listen and learn, the timing and the waiting. So the timing and the waiting mode are used and we'll be demonstrating them. Uh, and another feature that I like, actually I should bring your attention to this feature, is that for beginning students who are serious about their music, there's the uh, metronome. I'm trying to get it to focus. It was focusing just now. It doesn't want to focus now. Right, there we go. The metronome button and the tempo tap button. Between the two of those, it will allow you to get a good sense of timing. That's important for new music students. Even if you have a uh, piano tutor or somebody teaching you music, getting the timing uh, correct is a big problem for uh, young beginning students. And almost always the timing system gives them trouble but with the built-in metronome it's easy now we're focusing on the display here folks and you can see that you have a, a picture of the keyboard there and as you touch the notes they light up now and uh, what does this help you well actually it shows you the notes that you should play so you can visually watch them in the listen and learn mode and gradually play them for yourself and it is hoped by Yamaha musicologists that as you actually do this, you will in fact bring out your musical talent and gradually get better and better. So from the point of view of children, it does motivate them perhaps a little more than a big stick would as the old time teachers would slap them on their knuckles with a big stick when they made mistakes and that, 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 that caused a lot of people to drop out of piano lessons. Now of course it's no advantage to Yamaha if you drop out of piano lessons because then they lack a, a, a market to sell you better and better instruments but if you become a music addict from a young age then um, you know they'll be selling you keyboards for the balance of your life 
Now, uh, I think in the last video I highlighted the fact that this has two built-in speakers, one on either side, as you can see them there, one on either side, and it actually runs off of batteries. I haven't actually run the batteries right down uh, to see how long they would last, but I did try it out with batteries to make sure that it works, and it has an, um, a power off function that if you forget it on, it will turn itself off to save the batteries. And uh, you can of course run it with an adapter, we'll show you the adapter now. The PA3C model Yamaha power adapter is recommended for use with this keyboard but is not supplied with it. You have to buy it as an added accessory. But I suggest you do it. Now I have mine hooked into a switch there so that I, ha I can turn it off because it is one of those old time analog adapters that runs rather hot. Um, unfortunately it's the old time ones where the transformer is on all the time and it runs rather hot on the 50 hertz power that we have here in Barbados. So I turn it off with that switch so that I don't um, leave it on because if you leave it plugged in for, for day in and day out the heat will eventually burn out the transformer. Anyhow let's get back to playing. I'm trying to keep this video short and make it meaningful for you. Okay folks, to start the demo playback we simply press the demo button and uh, we see that it loads very quickly. You can see it being played there. $200 US keyboard. Think you can play like that? Well, it goes on from one song to the next, and it gives you several different songs. Uh, so I'm just going to let you hear a little piece of this little one here now and then we'll, we'll can the video because we can't obviously play the whole lot. disappointed.
us to have that different um, songs in the different hands. And it's as easy as ABC. Look, song, voice, style. Folks, I don't think you really grasp uh, how powerful this keyboard really is. For example, it has a hundred and two stored songs. It affords nine different types of reverb and th four different types of chorus effects. I don't know how they managed to pack so much memory and power into such a cheap product. But Yamaha has done it yet again and there's very little competition. When you really research what this product can do, notice that I keep the camera here pointed at this AB repeat business with rewind, forward, pause and play, uh, similar to a normal tape recorder. This allows you to put the song in lesson mode and go through it bit by bit. You can play the left hand by itself, the right hand by itself, or you can play all two together, much like you would do when learning um, conventional music. You um, you know, you practice on the on the right hand, and then when you get that done, you practice on the left hand, and then finally you put the two hands together and gradually build up speed. So I'm saying that um, this really is the best way to go. Now in the next lesson, because we're not really going to have too much time today, we don't want to make the videos too long or people will stop watching them, we, are going, we have to give you a reason to come back. But notice that the three of these buttons here, listen and learn, timing and waiting, that's how Yamaha divides it. And notice I see the left part and right part button there. That's the, that left part and right part button is the buttons that allows you to separate uh, which hand you're planning to play. Okay? To use the auto bass chord accompaniment, we simply press this ACMP on off button here. Then we press sync start here. And then we just simply form a chord of any kind down here and away we go. See, it goes on holding it, and then when you touch it again, it'll change. Well, folks, that's it for today. See you again soon on 21st Century Music.